Richard Jefferson, we have some new information about James Wiseman. He's been in the news all week long. He played this week even after the NCAA said he was ineligible. But there was a court order saying he could play until the hearing. But the new information is Memphis the University has declared him ineligible for competition. He will still practice with the team, but they will wait until the hearing to declare whether or not he will play. Yeah. Interesting. This seems like Memphis decided, you know what? We don't care what the NCAA has to say. We're going to play him. But that changed between the last game and now. Well, there could be more information. So, you know, we don't want to speculate. I think the craziest thing here is the NCAA is like, no, you cannot make us money. Right? You (laughs) cannot make us money. No, you can't. You You can't even go make money for yourself. But you cannot make us money. So, I think that, you know, again, there's been so much said about this with the information that's probably come to Memphis and they see that this those games could be affected yeah, of and there's course. other things going on there. So they've dealt with sanctions in the past. past. Yeah, 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 this yeah. is not we yes. know how this yeah, goes. Yeah, we had, this road before. We had Coach Calipari here. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we had yes, Coach we know, Calipari. We, we, we're we know, know we're no we're no stranger to the sanctions. I mean, yes. I'd also say is regardless of what the court order says or the hearing says or what the end result is this is who really loses is us the basketball fans i want to watch james no, Wiseman we're not. play we're gonna, basketball no we're, no we're not going to lose because he's going to be playing in the nba yes so we're just, we just we just have to wait a little bit longer to watch him play that's that's the that's kind of the the humor in this is that the ncaa and i get it they have their rules rules are rules mm-hmm. and they have their rules and if he if he did something inappropriate then he just has to wait a little bit longer maybe and the, four more the, months one before of the things he's a that millionaire me about this whole thing is like this is all all ties back to Anthony Hardaway giving the school a million dollars in 2008. Like that's that's where this all started because he was a booster. That turned him into a booster, a booster. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't give schools a million dollars. I guess. No, I, I guess should. that's what we learned I, from this. I made that that's mistake. Yeah. I made that mistake. Years Arizona, ago. you got to get like a weight room in Arizona oh, with your name yeah, on it. I got a gym. Okay, Russell Westbrook on the Rockets. He's well known for not just his basketball play, but what he wears. Let's just check. Take a look at him coming in. To I mean. What do you think about that outfit? Look, it's Russell Westbrook. This is what he is known for. Like he is, he's a selfie king. He's a great yeah. like a photographer. sweater looks like a Finnish grandma yeah, knit yeah, it but, for but him. It only, you know, he, like if I were to wear that, like I would get murdered by everyone. They would be killing me, cracking jokes. He if wears you it. You were to wear that. Yes. Do you he, think you could pull that off? No, but Russell can well, pull off anything. He could literally pull off anything, and he's tried to pull off at anything. Also, those pants cost a thousand dollars. He makes forty million dollars. We don't yeah, talk about how much point. Bill Gates' glasses okay. cost, do we? So I was wondering if I could pull off that outfit. No, you didn't. Let's just see what it would look like if you were wearing that outfit. Let's just take a look. I mean, not actually, bad. actually, that's I not bad. Out, that's not bad. You I, like, can kind of pull I'll, out. Yeah, but I, I, you know what? What's really helping you is the is the is the people you win. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be the yes, only yes. place that I would wear this. Yes. If we went to a fashion show, then I'd pull yes. off something a little outstanding. Have you ever spent a thousand dollars on pants? No, no, no. I'm. I'm. Uh, What's the most expensive clothing item that you've ever bought? Oh, a couple grand. A couple, couple I, grand. I, yeah, like coats. a nice I suit. Got, yeah, a a coat. Oh, yeah, so I've, I've spent. My a lot. wife tried to convince me to buy a thousand dollar winter coat, and I was like, I, no way. I, I think I no had, way. I had, I had a Ralph Lauren suit that was probably about six. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.